In this video tutorial, we will try to understand that how you can install R in the R Studio in your system. But before it, let's try to understand one very important thing. And this is CRAN. The CRAN stands for what? The CRAN stands for the Comprehensive R Archive Network. What actually this is? Basically, the CRAN is a network of FTP and the web servers around the world that stores up-to-date versions and the code for the R. Whatever the R language package you need is available from the CRAN. We will explain it later in this course that how you can download the packages in your R using CRAN. Now if you want to download the R in your system, then you also need to use the CRAN. To download the R from the CRAN, let's write it down the CRAN in a Google and you will have this one. In this, please select the R as per your system. If you have a Mac, then click on this one. And if you have a Windows, then click on this one. Currently, we have a Windows operating system. So we are going to click it here. As we will click it here, then we will be landed to this page. In this page, click here on the download R 4.1.2 for the Windows. As you will click it here, this window will pop up in front of you. And this is asking you to select the location where you want to download the RXE. So let's download the RXE on a desktop. So click it here on a save. As you will click on the save, then the RXE will be downloaded in your system. The size of the RXE is 85 MB. So it may take some time depending upon the internet speed which you have. As you can see it here that the RXE file is downloaded in our system. Now to install the R in our system, let's click on it. When you will click on the RXE, then it will ask a permission for the installation. Click on a yes. Afterward, it will ask you about the language. Select the most appropriate language. Click OK. Then click on the next. Then click on the next. Afterward, choose the location where you want to install the R. As you can see it here that currently we are interested to install the R in a program files which is present in a C drive. Then click on the next, then again next, then next. And then on this window, you can actually select that you want to create the desktop shortcut or not. If you want to create a desktop shortcut, check this box and click on the next. As you will click on the next, then the R installation process will begin. When the R is successfully installed in our system, click on the finish button. After the installation of the R, now we need to install the R Studio. To install the R Studio, we are going to use a web page address rstudio.com. When you will be on this page, then click here on this drop down menu of the product. In this drop down menu, select the R Studio. When you will click on the R Studio, then you will be landed on this page. On this page, scroll it down and select R Studio for desktop. Afterward, click on the download R Studio desktop. When you will click on that button, then you will be redirected to this page. On this page, scroll it down and click here on this download button. As you will click here on this download button, then you will be once again redirected to this window. On this window, click here download R Studio for the windows. When you will click it here, then this window will pop up in front of you, which is asking you the location where you want to download the RStudio XE. Right now, we are going to download that RStudio XE on our desktop. Click here on the save button. As you will click on this button, then the RStudio XE will be downloaded in your system. This is 156 MB file and it may take some time depending upon the internet connectivity of your system. As you can see it here that the RStudio XE is downloaded in our system. To install the RStudio in our system, let's double click on it. Afterward, this installation wizard will appear in front of you. Click on the next and then choose a location where you want to install the RStudio. Currently, we are going to install the RStudio in a program files which is present in a C drive. Click on the next and then click on the install button. As you will click on the install button, then the installation process will begin. Finally, our RStudio is successfully installed in our system. 
click on this finish button. So far, we have installed the R and the R Studio in our system. Now let's open the R Studio. This is the main interface of R Studio. We will talk about the R Studio in more detail in the next video. Now let's check it out that the R and the R Studio are the well integrated or not. To check it out, let's type 2 plus 2 and then click on this run button. If at the bottom you are going to have an answer 4, it means that the R Studio and the R they are well integrated. But if you will get some error message, it means that R Studio and the R they are not well integrated and there is something wrong. You need to first fix it. We hope so that you have now good idea how to install the R and the R Studio in your system.